My name is Jose Echeverry. I'm a professor at the Faculty of Environmental Studies of York University, where I specialize on energy solutions. After the Fukushima nuclear disaster, uh, I was invited to come to Japan in two occasions to try to understand why these problems uh, occur um, and how they could be uh, prevented in, in other jurisdictions. Um, one of the things that I managed to do was to convince uh, a nuclear uh, engineer from Japan to come to the city of Toronto to explain what happened in Fukushima. And one of the things that impacted me the most about what he told us when he was in Toronto was that the nuclear accident in Fukushima did not occur because of an earthquake. He told us that the nuclear accident in Fukushima did not occur because of a tsunami. What he told us, uh, this nuclear scientist, he said that the nuclear uh, accident in Fukushima occurred because the nuclear engineers of Japan believed that a nuclear accident could not happen in Japan. That gives me a lot of concern because Canadian nuclear scientists and Canadian nuclear engineers are saying that a uh, nuclear accident cannot happen in the Pickering nuclear power plant. When people tell you that something cannot happen, uh, you may want to uh, check for yourself uh, what the plan is in case that something does happen. I've done that. I have looked at the emergency plans in case of a nuclear disaster in the Pickering nuclear power plant. And I am concerned that these plans are not sufficient to deal with a nuclear accident. I am concerned that if a nuclear accident happens in Pickering, we will have a problem that is beyond our capabilities to deal with it. I am concerned that having a nuclear accident will affect my family, your family, and everybody's families. Anybody living close to the Pickering nuclear plant, and by close I mean 10, 20, 30 kilometers, should be concerned about the decision of keeping in the, Pickering, the Pickering nuclear plant open beyond its operating time. You need to ask yourself who benefits by keeping the Pickering nuclear power plant open and who pays uh, if something goes wrong. Uh, who pays? All of us uh, that live in southern Ontario will pay the price if something goes wrong. And those that benefit need to recognize that there are better solutions today in the 21st century.